אם הבעל כל הת, מבעדה על הת. דן הוא על מוטו תל קומוניטה אחמדיה מוסולמנה. אורגנזציוני אינטרנציונלי היה מפרושה פומדה תא מלין אס מיה ודסיין פאיס מדבר את דניה. אוסטון, לאפריקה, לאמריקת אפו ולאמריקת אספל, לאסיה, לאוסטרליה ולאורופה. לאחמדיה הוא עשה לתוכל מלטה. הוא רפרזנטנט תדין אל קומוניטה אף מלטה, הוא הלייק אחמד עטיף. מרוף אוסטנה פעלה עטיף. לי הוא הפרסונאג' תדע לפרוגה. עטיף עמדו דסאה ווושל סנה. אוריג'נליאמנט מלפקיסטן. אילו יש מלטה מעל פמלייתו לצנין. מזווג' מזווג' תתפעל. הוא הדירקטור ולפסידנט תל אחמדי יפמן. אבל שי נתיב. אהנה, בסן התקלמו. בלמלטי או בלנגליז? אהנה נסתה נתקלם בלמלטי או כל. אם היק אהנה ירידו לי נדסקות או שיהיה פריט. לחייר לי נתקלמו בלנגליז. יק יוד. לא, לא, ספציאלמנט מתן מסטוס יתקון דרשי תחרה. איוואי, איוואי, איוואי. אוקיי, סטרייט טוק אפ פרנט. אוקיי, תקי. After my introduction, I'm already imagining how, as soon as I described you as a Muslim and a representative of a Muslim sect in Malta, many of those who happen to be watching have already made up their mind that you are one of those. A terrorist, a spy working for evil forces, an enemy of the religion of Christ, subversive, another one of those leeches from the third world sucking up land. But if, as much as it is charming and welcoming, this country can be callously racist and intolerant. You, who believe that the promised Messiah is the founder of your community, what the hell are you doing living and working in Malta, where the majority say that they are staunch believers in another promised Messiah? Thank you very much for your question, and uh, I love to answer this question, and it's very important uh, to be answered. First of all, we are one sect of those Muslim sections, but we are not just based on one ideology or just uh, we had some differences and another sect uh, came up. No, our section is based on prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. He prophesies that in latter days, there will come a promised Messiah and Mahdi, Mahdi means a guide who will reform all Islamic teachings. We believe that Prophet Messiah and Mahdi who was prophesized by the founder of Islam, Muhammad peace be upon him, he has come and we are his believers. We believe in him. So we are different to those sections as you mentioned that uh, terrorists, suiciders, we are not amongst them. We are totally different. We are the same peaceful community as the same peaceful message was brought by the Messiah after Moses. We also believe in the Messiah after Prophet Muhammad. So as that Messiah was peaceful, our Messiah has also brought the message of peace. There's no need to tell any more that how peaceful we are and how peace loving um, the message we have. I mean, we are working all around the world. So our mission is same all around the world that to spread the message of peace, love and harmony. So Malta shouldn't be afraid of, of us, neither Maltese people. We are not going to commit any action which is against this nation. But we are, the great, we are very grateful to this country and the people who welcomed us. The Holy Prophet of Islam says, and the, also the Holy Quran says, that if someone does, is not grateful to people, he cannot be grateful to God. We are grateful to this nation and this beautiful country, this beautiful island. So definitely, we will be taking care, we will be serving this nation and the country, we won't harm. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. So you are no terrorist? Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Atif, uh, please excuse my ignorance, but to try and understand you and your work better, I cannot resist not thinking of you as a Muslim missionary. The work which, which I am doing, I'm doing I'm, I have brought here the message of peace from our community. 
I am here to miss to correct the misunderstandings about Islam. You can say that this work I am doing as a missionary, I am doing as a, a servant of humanity, I am doing as a believer of God. Whatever you name, the work is is clear. The work is the same as other missionaries and imams and people are doing. I am doing the same. But you have been sent to Malta and not to uh, an Islamic country because Malta is not No, Islamic. I could have been sent to any country because uh, I have dedicated my life for this work. I mean, there are many our uh, dedicated people who are working in Muslim countries. Our caliph, who is the head of the community, he could send me anywhere. But I, I love working here because uh, besides this challenge, there are uh, more these people, they have great values. They are great believer of God. So this is not difficult because I'm not going to give them something different. I have brought the same. Let's come together to believe that Almighty God. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. God's peace be with him. The founder of Ahmadiyya. Yes, uh, as I earlier mentioned by the prophecies of the Holy Prophet of Islam, in 1889, uh, he declared himself that a promised Messiah and uh, he started this community and he said that God has uh, given me revelations after revelations and he told me again and again you are the Mahdi you are the reformer you have to reform you have to stand up so he stood up founded this community Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat and uh, since then uh, this I mean our work is has started and after the death of the promised Messiah, the first caliph was appointed. And caliph after caliph, we came up to this very day. Now we are in the time, in the era of our fifth caliph. And his name is Mirza Masroor Ahmad. And he is residing in London. Uh, and he is heading the community. Atif, what do you believe in? Uh, I believe in God. I believe in all the prophets of God from the very first day till the day of judgment. Who have, who have come and who will come and whoever are mentioned in the Holy Quran or in the Holy Bible we believe in all of them we believe in angels we believe in all the sacred and holy scriptures revealed by God and you believe in Christ? yes, we believe in Christ as a, a great Messiah we respect him from the, uh, from the death of our hearts we are great lover of uh, Christ Peace be on him. So there are. Why do you keep saying peace be on him? Because uh, this is these words are for great respect to those personalities. Because though those people were revolutionary, they were not an ordinary personalities. They were great. They were great people. The history of man have ever witnessed. Allah. You pray. You pray a lot. <laughs> Thank God you pray time. five times a day. <laughs> but even we, there are many uh, optional prayers. Every action should be filled with prayers. When we eat, we pray. When we go out, we pray. When we meet people, we pray. I mean, the prayers are every time. I mean, our whole days and nights are filled with prayers. First, we start by the early morning prayer, 5.30 to 6 during that time. The second prayer is in the afternoon, early afternoon at 1.30 or 1 p.m. The third at 4 to 5 p.m. The fourth prayer, just after few minutes of sunset, that we call Maghrib. And the last prayer is Isha, around 8.30 to 9. We do not only pray for ourselves. We pray that may God help us to establish the real peace for humanity. May we all join together and make this entire world so peaceful. But in spite of all this prayer, humanity is destroyed. I mean, if somebody is uh, doing harm to himself, I mean, we cannot stop them. But at least we can pray for them. That may they realize that what they are doing for themselves. Those, uh, I mean, weapons, Human beings have created themselves, for themselves. I mean, uh, they, are, they are killing each other, they are destroying each other. So it's up to them. But our prayers are there. 
maybe our prayers are accepted or may a day will come that human being realize this because uh, god have given a choice to human beings he have shown this is good way this is bad way you have to choose whatever you like so god did not do not force human beings it's not your job to convert multis citizens to islam is it not at all not mine i mean this is not job of anybody yes we have to share our teachings our ideas our values but to convert forcefully i'm not the believer of force force or weapons or swords can only bend human heads but they can never win the hearts of people few months ago there was in malaysia there was an issue that uh, allah this word only muslim can use i said not at all allah can be used by anybody allah is not i mean religion is not patent of somebody so i wrote against that misconception even i addressed this issue of uh, uh, putting sleeves in uh, italian uh, classrooms what's wrong if somebody wants to hang a sleeve in his room in his class so let him do it so if if he want to do so let him do it